in this video we will be discussing about what is a decoder circuit so basically decoder is a combinational logic circuit so that takes n number of inputs okay so there will be n inputs and it gives us 2 to the power n outputs okay so this is the uh, basic structure of a decoder so that means if i design a decoder of let's say two inputs then my output will be 4. So, the name decoder is suggesting that. So, if there is some message and I need to decode that, that means small amount of message will be there after decoding I need a large amount of message, right. That in that case, so my input is 2 which is small, but my output is 4. That means it is converting 2 number of input to a 4 number of output. So, let us understand what is a 2 cross 4 decoder and how to design the logic circuit for that. So, the truth table I have already written to uh, save some time here. So, in this case A and B are my inputs. So, this is the my input and D0 to D3 these are my outputs. So, as I said here if two input is there there will be four outputs. So, this is the two inputs are A and B and there are four outputs which are D0, D1, D2 and D3. Now, what is the logic behind that? What is the uh, logic behind the truth table of the decoder? Let us see that. So, it says that whenever the input is 0, 0, as we have only two variables in the input, so obviously we will have only four combinations possible for that. So, the combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So, basically, this is representing 0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. So, whenever the input is 0 and 0, then the D0 output will be there. That means, if you connect a LED at the D0 pin of the output, then you will get 1 there and all other pins will get the 0 there. That means, the LEDs will not, will not glow in that particular pins. Similarly, if the input is 0 and 1, 0 1 corresponds to 1 and that will switch on the D1 LED. So, D1 is 1 here and all other LEDs are 0 including D0. Next, if, if the input is 1 0, that means, that is representing 2 here. So, D2 in this case will be equals to 1 and all other values will be 0. So, remember this side is my, the left side is my input and the right side is my output. So, finally, if the input is 1 and 1, then D3 will be on because corresponding to 3. So, D3 is 1 here and all other values or the all the other LEDs are equals to 0. So, this is the truth table. Now, what is the mean basic structure of that as, you, as I have seen here? So, there will be two inputs which are A and B. So, we need to design some logic circuit using the gates so that these two inputs will be converted to the four outputs. So, how to do that? So, to design any logic diagram, I need the Boolean expression for that. So, what will be the Boolean expression for D0? So, we know that if you have to write the Boolean expression for that, then in this row, or in this value of D0, you find where is the value of 1 is there. So, the value of 1 is available here. So, if the value of 1 is there, this is my point of concern. So, wherever 0 is there, I do not need that output. I need the output when it is 1, the condition when it is 1. So, corresponding to 1, so see what is the input variable. Okay. Input variable are 0, 0, that means I have to write A dash and B dash. So, why I am writing A dash B dash? Generally, this is written in the format of SOP. So, remember whenever implementing any truth table in a logic diagram, generally we write it as SOP. So, next what will be the value of D1? So, D1 will be equals to, where is D1? So, D1 is here and that corresponds to input 0, 1. So, it will be A dash B. Similarly, if I write it for D2, so where is D2? So, D2 is here, it corresponds to the value 1, 0. So, it will be A, B dash. Similarly, last one is your D3, which will be equals to A into B. So, this is A, B dash. So, A into B. Now, with this particular combination of the input to the output relation, we need to draw a circuit. So, how the circuit will look like? So, see here, we have done the circuit here. So, D0 is A dash into B dash. So, D0 is here. So, with A not get is here. So, A dash is available is here. So, A dash into B dash. So, this is B. So, this point will be B dash and B dash is connected here. Next, D1 is A dash into B. So, 
so d1 so a dash so this line is connected here and then a dash into b so b is taken from here and it is connected here okay so next is d2 is a b dash and d3 is a into b so this is b and here it is a so i'll just wipe out all so that you can uh, see it properly yeah. so this is how the logic diagram of a simple 2 cross 4 decoder can be drawn in and uh, you can see here it is written that each represents one mean term okay in mean term sop is generally written so if you have to replace max term then instead of and gate you have to use or gate so that can be done as well but here we are, uh, we are not uh, uh, doing that okay so in this uh, in the next video we will be discussing some more about decoders